Hi everybody, um, this is Cassandra and um, <laughs> I am working on speaking to you more in front of camera as usual. Um, I wanted to share some things with you today of things I'm creating um, to make the Sea Love experience available to you even if you don't live in the Bay Area. Um, but I also want to share an experience I had this past weekend which just made me remember why I do what I do. And it actually gave me flashbacks. Hi, Veronica. <laughs> um, it gave me flashbacks to like way back in the day that even got me on this path to doing makeup and face and body art. Um, so uh, this past weekend I was at uh, the Midway in SF um, at the Menagerie event. And um, there was this one particular lady that sat with me um, super sweet girl, um, and in the course of like, you know, bedazzling her face, uh, she started just like opening up, um, and sharing with me, uh, little bits and pieces like, oh, this isn't even my hair, um, and I was like, really? Like, I couldn't even tell, um, but I guess she had had, it wasn't even a wig, it was like, um, weave glued onto her head, um, and then um, she also uh, was just uh, guiding me, letting me know that um, her eyebrows weren't even her eyebrows. Hi, Abigail. <laughs> um, because she had gotten them microbladed on. Um, and she kept saying like, I don't even know why I'm sharing this with you. I don't share this with anybody. Um, and then as she kept sitting in my chair and I kept sparkling her face, um, she let me know um, she had alopecia, um, which is um, where you're not able to grow hair. Um, and um, she started to like cry a little bit and she was just like, I don't even know why I'm sharing this with you. Um, Cause she's doing all these things to camouflage the fact that um, she lives with, with this um, thing that doesn't allow her to grow hair. And so I was trying to be funny and lighten it a little bit. And I was like, well, at least you don't have to shave your armpits every day. And at least you don't have to shave your woman parts every day. And she started giggling because um, I brought lightness to the situation. She's like, yeah, I guess that is the plus side, isn't it? Um, and um, as I was finishing bedazzling her face, um, I just like looked at her and I was like, would you like to try some eyelashes? And um, she just kind of gave me this look like, what do you mean try eyelashes? She's like, I can't wear eyelashes. It doesn't work. They, they get stuck and this. And she had all these stories and excuses of why like she couldn't wear eyelashes because she doesn't have any eyelashes. And I was like, let me just do this. So like um, she agreed. And so I got her to close her eyes and I literally got eyelashes on her. Um, and uh, when she opened her eyes and I put the a mirror in front of her, her reaction was the most beautiful thing I had seen and um, she just started like crying. I'm like, wait, don't mess up your eyelashes. <laughs> um, and she was just like, she couldn't, the tears just kept falling down her face because um, she couldn't believe that I actually got eyelashes to stick on her eyes because she had all these reasons and excuses and stories as to why she couldn't wear eyelashes um, and she couldn't believe the transformation um, that happened in um, 15 minutes sitting in my chair and then how she, like even her whole like posture changed and her whole demeanor changed and um, her confidence like like it's so cool to watch how someone will sit in my chair feeling one way and then they'll walk away feeling like a million bucks um, and it just kind of reminded me of my original journey before I even knew I was gonna ever do makeup um, uh, I was in my 20s um, and a lot of things from childhood were coming up. Um, so I started breaking out with cystic acne and um, I was so mortified by it um, and I would like pick for days and cause these big oozy sores on my face. And then as a result of having the oozy sores, I didn't want to go outside and I didn't want people to see what I had done to myself because I felt like an ugly monster. Um, and it was just like this really like embarrassing journey I had with cystic acne, um, going to like t dermatologists and estheticians and nothing working. Um, cause it was honestly an internal thing with like stress and, um, working through my, um, stuff from childhood abuse. Um, 
that was causing it. Um, so in that time frame though, with this acne, um, I got really good at doing makeup, but I never really valued it. But um, it was definitely a very integral part of what brought me along this journey with Sea Love um, because I can relate to people on such an intimate, deep level with like feeling um, ugly or um, picking apart themselves or different aspects or flaws. Um, so um, the, um, the programs I'm creating are virtual. Um, so maybe you're like a mom and um, you just spend all your time in sweats or yoga pants, throwing your hair in a bun, um, just so focused on the kids that you've forgotten your femininity um, or how it even feels to feel like a mom or like a woman because you're just so in function mode and just getting things done and tasking all day. Or maybe um, you're working your butt off because you live in the Bay Area um, and so you're like overworked and underrested. So like maybe you have dark circles or bags under your eyes or maybe you're just um, in your 30s and 40s and you still break out and then you pick at it because it's like this habit and then you don't know how and then you feel embarrassed to go in public because you don't want everybody to see like the mess you created on your face um these are all great reasons uh, to work with me and what is possible is one confidence um being able to like walk into a room and not want to hide or hug the wall or cling to like a friend um like actually be able to walk in a room and make new friends and like be open to talking to people without feeling like self-conscious or embarrassed um about your face or features or anything like that um what else is possible is feeling beautiful from the inside out because sometimes we get so focused on all the problems or all the things we think are flaws and we forget the beauty we offer or the beauty that we are. Um, and so working with me, I could support you in refocusing that attention to a more constructive place versus a destructive place. Um, another thing that is possible is um, feeling at peace with your appearance. Like maybe you don't look like all the models out there or all the ads or all the things that we're constantly being um, bombarded with, um, but that's okay. Finding uh, the beauty of yourself and owning that and um, loving yourself. And that's another piece you would get with working with me. And then also maybe you're just a woman <laughs> who loves makeup. <laughs> And bought all these things because people told you to at the store, um, but you don't remember how to use them, or maybe they didn't tell you how to use them accurately. And so you got like this pile of makeup <laughs> growing in your house um, that just collects dust um, that you would actually <laughs> like to know how to use or what to do with it. Um, and that's another great reason to work with me. Um, I'll actually break down like tools and techniques and products um, and what to do with them and how to make certain things pop and how to draw attention to like your eyes which are the window to your soul or like your smile which is the smile to your soul um, and these are things that you'll get with working with me um, like the tools the techniques um, how to style your makeup for different occasions maybe just knowing how to do a quick daytime look when you're trying to be natural or maybe a more glam look when you're going out with your girls or maybe a nice little sexy look for if you're going on a hot date um, or even just a fun look if you're um, going to like a themed event or occasion, um, that would be another uh, great reason to work with me. Um, and so I am working on my actual link that I can send you, but if any of these things apply to you, please feel free to either comment below or send me a message and I will make sure uh, to send you the link. Um, you could either get like an individual, very specific package um, that's catered to something very specific you would like to fine tune, or you could get like everything and then um, learn everything from A to Z. Um, and this is also a great way to um, take care of yourself and um, practice self-care and pampering. 
Um, so go ahead and comment below or message me and I look forward to working with you and making you feel beautiful um, and making you remember that you're beautiful just as you are in your own skin. Um, and yeah, have a great day.